Welcome to Electro Online. There are three main ways in which an airplane stays in the air. It has to do with the wings of the airplane and how the airplane flies. The three ways are illustrated right here. We'll go into the detail in just a moment. And it turns out that typically all three play a role in keeping an airplane in the air. And it depends on what the airplane is doing and what type of airplane you have that will determine at that moment in time which of the three is predominant and which one is not. With typical jetliners, when they're in the air of steady flight, this is the primary way in which the plane stays in the air. The airplane wing is curved more at the top relative to the bottom. The air rushes over the top more quickly than over the bottom because it has a bigger distance to travel. Faster velocity means lower pressure, and the difference in the pressure causes a greater force to exist at the bottom versus the top, and that difference then keeps the airplane in the air. We use Bernoulli's equation to calculate that, so we can see that the difference in the pressure times the area equals the weight of the plane, and that then keeps the plane in the air. The second predominant method is that the plane tends to fly at a slight angle. If you ever notice that when you're inside a passenger plane, the nose of the plane is a little bit higher than the back of the plane, and so that causes wind to hit the bottom of the, plane, uh, bottom of the wing and be deflected. So essentially you have Newton's third law at play. For every action there's an equal and opposite reaction, pushing the wing upward, or you can think of it in terms of conservation of momentum. A certain amount of air is being pushed down, and so we have an equivalent amount of momentum that needs to be up, which is the force that causes the airplane wing to go up. This method here is predominantly in fighter aircraft that travel very fast, that have very powerful engines because it's the engine power that, that allows the air to push the plane up because you have to drive the wing of the air through the, uh, the wing of the plane through the air like that. A third method, the third part of what keeps it in, in the air, is that when air hits the front of the wing, it gets compressed, then that compressed air goes to the top and the bottom. But at the top, the air decompresses more and more quickly than at the bottom. Faster decompression, more decompression at the top means you have less pressure at the top, more pressure at the bottom, and that difference in the pressure due to that also causes the net force to act upward. All three are at play, but some are more dominant than others depending upon what plane you have and what the plane is doing that moment. One of the things you might have noticed that passenger planes will have these flaps that come down that increase the curvature of the plane, that increases the size of the, the wing, and also gives you more surface to hit at the bottom of the surface to also help the plane being pushed upward. So again, it changes depending upon what the plane is doing. And that is how an airplane stays in the air.